gentlemen, welcome to Barclays Center here in Brooklyn, New York, as Premier Boxing Champions presents our Showtime Prelims. This bout is brought to you by TGB Promotions, DSG Promotions, in association with Classic Entertainment and Sports and Showtime. Sponsored by DraftKings Sportsbook and Brooklyn Boxing. The three judges ringside are John McKay, Kevin Morgan, and Robert Perez. And the referee in charge of the action is Johnny Callis. And now Premier Boxing Champions presents eight rounds in the Super Welter Weights Division. Introducing first in the red corner, wearing the blue with yellow trim, he weighed in at an even 153 pounds. With 18 victories, including six by knockout, opposite of eight defeats and two draws, representing Plainfield, New Jersey, here is Jimmy Quiet Storm Williams. And now introducing his opponent across the ring in the blue corner, wearing the black and gold. He weighed in at 153 and three quarter pounds. His record stands 11 victories, including seven wins by knockout and just one defeat. Representing Roseland, New Jersey, here is a rising star, Vito White Magic, no Nicky Jr. And once again, the referee in charge of the action is Johnny Callis. Jimmy. Vito, we received your instructions in the dressing room. I want you to protect yourself at all times. Above all, obey my commands at all times. First command is right now. Very good. Touch him up. And the ball range come on up on. So it is our opening matchup here in uh, Brooklyn. We have Vito Melnicki Jr. Only one loss of his professional career. As he takes on Jimmy Williams, who in the minutes of a three-fight losing streak. Vito Melnicki Jr., he has won three straight since that loss at the hands of James Martin last April. Melnicki Jr., 20 years of age, from Roseland, New Jersey. As you heard ringing down to Miguel Flores describe, and he's really starting to fill out. Looks in bigger, you know, better shape. He looks to be a bit more solid, a lot more cut up and defined up top. This one is scheduled for eight rounds. They're both starting off jabbing. Melnicki wearing the black and the gold, wearing the blue and the gold is Jimmy Williams. Just a 45 minute venture to the Prudential Center in New Jersey when Vito Melnicki Jr. was main eventing on Christmas night. A nice left hook to the body by Melnicki Jr. For Jimmy Williams, any time he's really stepped up in competition, it hasn't gone too well for the 35-year-old. Good stiff jab that backs up Williams. Jimmy Williams losses at the hands of Luis Avias, Tyrone James, Greg Vendetti. His biggest win, I would have to say, is a majority decision victory over Yuri Foreman. That was in Atlanta. He's been stopped by the likes of Brandon Lee, the rising super lightweight contender. Also been stopped by Abel Ramos as well, the welterweight contender. Fourth round TKO. That dates back to July 20th of 2019. Good right hand by Malnicki as we have 65 seconds remaining in this our opening stanza. Good right hand by Melnicki, looks sharp in the early going. Nice jab on the belly by Melnicki. And he sends a left hook upstairs to Williams. Williams backing up as Melnicki picking up the pace, walking down Jimmy Williams. A right hand down the center for Melnicki. Melnicki using his athleticism, steps in with the jab and that backs up Williams and the fans urging on the East Coast product and Vito Melnicki Jr. Big right hand by Melnicki that stopped Williams in his tracks. Now Nicky looks good in the early going here. 
And I got to say that physique-wise, this is the biggest I've ever seen Mel Nicky. And, you know, it, it does make sense because he's 20 years of age. He took pro at 17. And he is starting to fill out as a young man as he enters the early part of his 20s. No longer a teenager as Vito Mel Nicky Jr. And that'll conclude round one. A solid first round for Vito Melnicki Jr. On to round number two, Jimmy Williams looking to snap this three-fight losing streak for Mel Nicky. He is coming off that win back in April. Vito Mel Nicky Jr., 11 in one with seven knockouts, a knockout percentage of 58 percent a unanimous decision win over dan carpensi this is his second fight here in 2022 he had a 10th round tiki over nicholas delumba back on christmas night that was at the nearby prudential center a right hand that misses for malnicki as Malnicki steps in, attacks the body of Williams, and then sends a right uppercut at close distance. Now he barrels into Williams, and now looking to unload on the inside. Johnny Callis allowing them to fight on the inside. Nice right hook to the body by Malnicki, and blood streaming from the nostrils, I believe, of Jimmy Williams, largely in part from those right hands, compliments of Vito Malnicki Jr., the 20-year-old. Good stiff chap to the abdomen by Mel Nicky. Well, they both exchange a close distance. Williams's athleticism, or lack thereof, now they are wrestling. Williams giving up 15 years to Vito Mel Nicky Jr. He's 35, Mel Nicky only 20. Nice tip jab by Vito Melnicki Jr. An overhand right that misses by Williams. You see Melnicki looking to unload. Under a minute to go here in the second round. A good right by Melnicki as Williams is stumbling all over the place. They both exchange jabs. Melnicki looks to be so comfortable and is looking to break down Jimmy Williams. A left hook by Melnicki. Good left hook upstairs by Melnicki. Final moments of the second. Good stiff jab to conclude round one, but Williams threw a right hand. That caught Melnicki as we head towards the third. Good stiff jab by Melnicki as Williams unloaded that right hand that caught Melnicki towards the end of the second stanza.
Seconds out. Seconds out. Clean up that ice, please. Not you. You box. Round three, this one's scheduled for eight. Vito Melnicki Jr., who has won three in a row, looking to make it four straight. Taking on Jimmy Williams, who is on the opposite side. He has lost three in a row. Now, Nicky looking to hand him the fourth straight defeat of his career, or of this run. Nice tip chat by Vito Melnicki Jr. Good stiff jab there by Melnicki. Melnicki looking to unload on the body of Jimmy Williams. Williams looking to wrestle with Melnicki. Johnny Callis steps in between them and separates them. Nice right hand by Melnicki. A left hook for Melnicki. Vito has quite a bit of a Nice fan following here on the East Coast. His fans travel well, and this is just a short trip for them from New Jersey, just over the bridge, here into Manhattan, and subsequently into Brooklyn. Malnicki with a good stiff jab. I remember when Vito Malnicki Jr. was fighting on undercards of Deontay Wilder, Luis Ortiz, number two in Las Vegas. And it was at that point where Vito Malnicki Jr. was even in high school, he needed to get his teacher's permission. He would do fight week events like Grand Rivals, press conferences, and then he would go back to his room at the MGM Grand and actually work on and do schoolwork. Because even though he was given the absence away from class, he still had to go and make sure that he kept up with his studies. So once he graduated high school, he became a full-time fighter. Been a pro for four years as Vito Melnicki Jr. So for three years, beg your pardon. Nice left hook there by Melnicki. Another stiff shot by Melnicki. Right hand that backed up Melnicki from Jimmy Williams again. Jimmy Williams, the second consecutive round, which he throws a right hand, but then Melnicki just walloped him with the right hand. Three straight right hands that backed up Jimmy Williams. And Malnicki has Williams in some trouble as we head towards the end of the third. A nice sharp left hook for Malnicki and Williams on balance. We're on our way to the fourth. some of the action from this our third round you see Williams with an overhand right exactly exactly what happened in the second round with Jimmy Williams to round number four. This one is scheduled for eight. Still to come, Sergei Deryuchenko, the former middleweight contender. He will go head to head against Joshua Conley. That in our feature bout here. Coming up next, round four. This one's scheduled for eight. Vito Malnicki Jr. in total control here against Jimmy Williams. Good left hook by Malnicki. As Melnicki so relaxed, very poised on his toes, looking to make a statement here against Jimmy Williams, who has dropped three straight. Melnicki looking to make it four losses in a row for the 35-year-old. Four Melnickis on the opposite side, three victories in a row, trying to make it four straight since 
his only career blemish. His loss at the hands of James Martin back on April 17th of last year in Los Angeles. A good stiff jab by Melnicki and overhand right that misses. Good right to the body by Melnicki. More fence starting to file in here at the Barclays Center. Later on tonight, it'll be Danny Garcia making his super welterweight debut here at 154. He will go head to head against Jose Benavides Jr., the older brother of David Benavides, the super middleweight champion. We saw David Benavides back in May in Glendale, Arizona, right before the beginning of the summer. Incidentally, that was a week before we were here at Barclays Center the last time. Good right hand by Melnicki, under a minute left here in the fourth. A left hook by Williams. Williams seems to be off balance, but he is getting walloped from right hand from Melnicki. Good right uppercut by Melnicki as Melnicki goes right back on the offensive. Johnny Callis right there to step in between the two and he will separate them. Vito Melnicki steps in with the left hook that missed. Curious to see if Melnicki really tries to make a strong point to try to pick up the pace and try to get Jimmy Williams out of there. Williams has been stopped by the likes of Abel Ramos and Brandon Lee. In a, now he's looking. Melnicki looking to stop Williams. But Williams doesn't seem to be in any imminent danger as we're on to the second half of the fight. And the left hook has been a good weapon for the 20 year old from Roseland, New Jersey. As we take a look, bang. Nice little sharp left hook. That connected right on the jaw of Jimmy Williams. So Jimmy Williams has been stopped three times in the course of his career. TK losses to Tyrone James, he was undefeated. Brandon Lee undefeated, and Abel Ramos as well. Vito Melnicki Jr. looking to be the fourth to halt Jimmy Williams, but easier said than done. Round five, this one is scheduled for eight. Hard jab by Jimmy Williams. by Malnicki as Williams off balance. The minute has ticked off the clock here in the fifth round. Good right hand to the body by Vito Malnicki Jr. Don't punch, don't punch. Coming up on the midway point of this, our fifth round. Good right hand by Melnicki. Look at Williams now. Williams looking to pick up the pace. Chance of Vito echoing here at Barclays Center. Right hand by Melnicki. 
as we approach the one minute mark here in the fifth round. Well, Nikki using everything off the jab. See if he tries to set up that left hook. I like to see Vito attack the body more to try to systematically break down Jimmy Williams. Because Williams is a veteran, and he's been in there for some time. Jimmy Williams has been a pro since January of 2013. Only has a 20% knockout percentage. Nine-year career thus far for Jimmy Williams. A right hand over the top by Melnicki. Final moments of the fifth round. Vito Melnicki in control against Jimmy Williams. As we head towards round six. And not only has the left hook been finding its mark, it has been the right bang right there on the button as Williams was momentarily paused in his tracks. Time being called by Johnny Callis. Vito, Vito. That one. They want to look at the eyes of Jimmy Williams. They give him the okay. New York is rather cautious, and that's okay. But Jimmy Williams doesn't seem to be in any precarious position to get stopped. He is getting pounded with some right hands, but nothing to say that he is possibly close to being stopped just yet. Williams goes and tries to go, be aggressive, tying up the arms of Vito Melnicki Jr. There's a right to the body by Melnicki. Good shot by Melnicki on the inside. And Williams looking to tie up with Vito Melnicki Jr. Right hand over the top by Melnicki. Jab all by right hand by Melnicki. And Williams just trying to tie up. I think at this point, Jimmy Williams is resigned to the fact that he's probably going to lose a decision. And what he wants to do is he just wants to be able to make sure that he ends this fight upright and move on to another payday against another prospect. I think he's resigned to the fact that he is a pretty much a B-side fighter and an opponent. And it's not the easiest way to earn a living, but hey, to each his own. Now Nicky, on the other hand, looking to make a statement here tonight at Barclay Center and is looking for a finish against Jimmy Williams and Williams Breathing deep, overhand right that cracked Jimmy Williams as we have 60 seconds left here in the sixth. And now Melnicki turning up the heat. Melnicki sensing that the end could be near and is trying to get Jimmy Williams out of there. The corner is coming up and they are going to wave this one off. And Vito Melnicki Jr. has gotten the stoppage victory over Jimmy Williams and the adulation for Vito Melnicki Jr. Much to the delight of the fans that have made the journey across the bridge into Brooklyn from New Jersey. Vito Malnicki Jr., four straight victories in a row as the 20-year-old starting to grow into his body and goes out there and halts Jimmy Williams. He did what he was supposed to do. 
in impressive fashion, didn't let Williams have any moment of brilliance in the fight, took it to him, and then ended the night in impressive fashion. The corner got on the apron and said, enough is enough, because it was getting to dangerous territory. And there you see the respect between Vito Malnicki Jr. in the corner of Jimmy Williams. Vito Malnicki Jr., a class act, just 20 years old. But that was an impressive performance as Vito Malnicki Jr. Whoa. just was steadfast in his approach and went out there and ended the night of Jimmy Williams as he just continued to pick apart, pound away, pound away. He didn't unravel based on the fact of some of the things that Jimmy Williams was trying to do from a veteran standpoint, and he finished him off. He used it, everything was off the jab, the jab followed by the right hand. I love the leg to hook that he was able to throw, and Vito Malnicki Jr. has now won four straight victories, and that one was an impressive stoppage over Jimmy Williams. But to be honest, it was the kind of fight that when you, over the first couple rounds, you saw where it was gonna go for Vito Malnicki Jr. that he could have coasted to unanimous decision. But this is the kind of guy that you have to stop if you are really going to be a budding young prospect trying to graduate to contender status. And listen, it's still, Vito Malnicki Jr. is only 20 years of age. He's been fighting since he was 17 professionally. Don't move him along too fast, but if you are somewhat of the goods, you gotta stop guys like this, and Vito Malnicki Jr. did what he was supposed to do. So my hat's off to him on getting the victory over Jimmy Williams Jr. here tonight. All right, to make it all official, we send it up to our ring announcer. Here is my brother, Miguel Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at two minutes and 12 seconds of round number six due to corner stoppage. Therefore, your winner by TKO, Vito White Magic Milnicki Jr. So Vito Malnicki Jr. gets the sixth round stoppage over Jimmy Williams. And let's take a look at how the end of the fight unfolded. You saw that the right hand crushing right into the face of Jimmy Williams. Williams trying to extend the fight. Malnicki with the nice sharp uppercut. The left hook by Malnicki in the corner of Jimmy Williams had seen enough. Thus getting on the apron to go and tell referee Johnny Callis that enough is enough and you saw the work. And it was only gonna get progressively worse for Jimmy Williams and I'm glad the corner saw that there was no sense in Jimmy Williams, you know, going ahead and prolonging this fight. And Vito Malnicki Jr. goes out there and handles business as he stops Jimmy Williams here this evening at Barclays Center.